Hi, let me show you some code. We want a function named concatenate that takes an array of URLs and collects the title of these web pages. More precisely, it returns an object which keys are the URLs and the values are the titles. In order to simplify the codes, we do not handle failures like absent web pages, web page without title, unreachable network, etc. etc. Let's start with a callback based style that is concatenate1. We use an internal function conc that addresses the EF URL. Conc also takes an accumulator named titles where to store the partial result. When the URL's array is down, with this condition, the inner conc function invokes the CB callback with the accumulators. Observe that https.get uses itself a callback to process the HTTP response, and this callback uses listeners on the response object to accumulate the successive chunks that constitutes the fetched web page. So, to sum up, we use two callbacks and two listeners. So, let's see concatenate one at work. You see the result here, that is, the object with the URLs as keys and the title of the pages here. You notice also the small delay before calling concatenate one and getting the result, which is an orphan computation. The second version uses promises. The inner make promise function converts an URL into a promise equipped with a SQL that extracts the title and store it in the shared local variables titles. We convert all URLs to promises with URLs map and give this array of promises to promise all that waits for all of them to be settled. Once settled, we return the titles for the SQL. One interest of concatenate 2 is that all URLs are fetched concurrently whereas with the uh, callback styled concatenate 1 fetches them sequentially. A third version uses generators and promises. We first introduce a utility function, exhaust, that takes a generator, build an iterator out of it. This iter iterator produces promises. For each promise, we wait for it to be settled, and if successful, we resume the iterator with resume next, that call next on the iterator, or in case of failure, we throw the error inside the iterator. Concatenate 3 uses the same make promise as in concatenate 2, except that we name it fetch URL to ease reading. It defines a generator function, conc, that enumerates the URL, yield the associated promise, gets back the title, extract the title, and store it in the titles object. At the end of the URLs array, it returns the title object. The conch generator is put to work with exhaust conch. The code is sequential. It looks like being synchronous. Just ignore the yield keyword here, and thus is easier to understand and debug. However, being sequential, it is less efficient than concatenate 2. So, let's put it to work. To sum up, 
There is more than one way to program in JavaScript. And in these examples, we marry callbacks. You cannot avoid them for HTTPS.get, event emitters for the response object, promises and generators. Promises being the more promising for speed.